to AGK's Final Life. I'm your host, Anthony K, and it's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning here on April, I believe it is the 16th today, and uh, I'm here in Mississauga, uh, Ontario, which of course is uh, to the west of Toronto, uh, Ontario, it, uh, it's connected to Toronto, for those that don't know. I'm in Mississauga, which is technically its own city. And I'm just uh, on my way to I, the Mississauga uh, Record and uh, Collectibles Show. That's right, it's a record fair. I'm off to a record fair, record show, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the first record fair uh, I've gone to, and I believe the first one here in Mississauga uh, since uh, before the pandemic. I have not gone to a record fair since 2019, so it's been almost four years, almost four years since I've been to a record show, record fair, and I'm finally able to brave the crowds and whatnot, and, and I'm going to hit up a record fair and poke around and see if there's anything interesting to buy. I'm on a tight budget, but uh, I'm going to do a little crate digging, and I'm going to take you guys crate digging with me and take you guys to the record fair and show you what goes on here at, a, at our local record fair here in Mississauga. So we're going to see what's there, see if there's anything interesting. And we'll be there in just a few minutes. It's only about a 15-minute drive from my house. Excuse the tilty camera. It's connected to my steering wheel at the moment. <laughs> but uh, we'll be there in just about a couple of minutes. It's only 15 minutes from my house. And I'll see you guys from the Record Show. So we have arrived at the Etobicoke Olympium. And we are on our way to the record show. There's a sign right here. Record show this way. Let's do it. Let's go to a record show. We're going to head in and uh, see what it's all about. See if I can find a couple grails, a couple things I'm looking for to fill in some holes in my collection. And the best place to find those is, of course, a record show. So we're going to head in. I'll see you guys on the inside of the Mississauga Record Show. So we have arrived. We're at the record show. I'm just going to take you guys for a little stroll around before I start crate digging. Lots and lots. Lots and lots of vendors. Lots of vendors. We're going to have some fun. I'll give you guys a, I'll give you guys a brief tour. And then I'm gonna do some crate digging, and then uh, after after I've done my crate digging and uh, heading out, I will show you if and what I picked up. But right now, we're just uh, giving you guys lots of record collectors here today. That is for sure. Lots of sellers. Lots of buyers. I haven't seen this many people at a record show in over four years. I'm looking forward to doing some crate digging. And the good thing about record shows is they're all pretty much cash. And so I brought, I brought a certain amount of cash with me. And once my cash is spent, that's it for Anthony. But uh, I plan on doing a lot of digging. As you can see. There's going to be a lot to look at. I just took you, just taking you guys around the perimeter, just around the perimeter of the show. And uh, we'll see what we can find. See what the prices are like. See what we can find here at the record show. Lots to see. Lots to see. 
that's the that's the run around the perimeter and then there's an inside loop here i'll take you guys i'll take you guys around the inside loop as well looks like there's uh an outside loop and then uh one two three three or four inside rows Take you around the inside rows. Some CDs too. She has CD sellers as well. Lots of record crates. Lots of milk cartons. And we're uh, gonna hopefully, hopefully uh, find some find some good stuff today. Let's hope. Let's uh, hope for the best. That's one of the inside rows. Here's the other inside row. We're going to just give you guys a, a scan of the inside rows. And then I'm going to start doing some crate digging. There we go. So I will start, I guess, on this side. This thing's why I brought you guys to this side. I'll start on this side. And uh, I'm going to get work my way around. Here at the Etobicoke Olympium. And this, I guess we're in a basketball sports <laughs> sports court here. So uh, <coughs> let's do some, let's do some crate digging. Let's do some crate digging. Let's start, we're gonna start in this corner here. We're gonna start in this corner here and do some crate digging where I can squeeze in. <laughs> let's start, let's start right here. Here's a classic. I'm gonna move pretty fast, folks, because uh, I've got a lot of bin, a lot of buttons to dig through today. The trick is to get in. The trick, trick, trick is to uh, to to squeeze your way in uh, amongst these people and dig. So I'm gonna shut the camera off for a few minutes and do <laughs> and fight my way in to do some digging. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Yeah, that's the one I got. Yeah, no, it's uh, completely different. Uh, it's like that, but it's uh, blue. Oh, yeah. oh it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's it's amazing. Yeah. That's the Paul oh. Stanley one. That's the uh, Peter Chris one. So what do you, they have? But it's all the... Oh. I mean, there's that one there. That's 79. That's soundboard. That's a good recording. They did that in green and white. That's the one. That's a good 
Hmm. Anything after a live yeah. one is kind of eh. Yeah. Right? Anything? Did you have? Did you bring something that was sold? Something rare? Did you sell anything when you oh, sold? Sold loads so far, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you might have had something, you know. I've got the original two alive, the alive program, four program from back in the day. That's super. Yeah, man. You, you, you ever come across any of these uh, mirrors? Those, those, those mirrors? Yeah. You have no, any yeah. of those? No, I don't know. I, I, I stick, I stick my uh, just records and uh, get a bit of Just exposed. They did that in the 80s and it was a sort of semi documentary. I made lots of clips from them and concerts and stuff. It actually looks cool, man. You place it on a couple of DVDs. That's the best one. Which one? There's three, there's three DVDs in there. That's got the uh, 76 Largo concert, Japan concert, all brilliant quality, fantastic. Beatles, Beatles for you Beatles fans. Lots of Beatles for you Beatles fans. Like, thank God I'm not a Beatles fan. We're at another booth here. That first booth I was digging in, I actually uh, found two things and picked them up. Uh, so, my first two purchases down. Now I'm digging at another booth here. We'll see what we'll see what they got at this booth. Let's see what's in the DJ Essential bin. There's the back wall for you folks. You can see the back wall. And now I'm filming for my YouTube channel. AGK is Vinyl Life. Great folks, we're digging, digging, digging. There's some records over there too in the box. Rare vinyls. Lots Is that of one vinyl. In particular you're looking for? Just crate digging, crate digging, <laughs> crate digging. You never know what you can find. That's it. Hey folks, look at that. Let's get let's get let, just cruising with Will Smith. Let's get jiggy with it. So I've uh, hit one, two, three booths. Found uh, a couple things at every booth so far. Uh, so I've got a few things, but I've still got uh, money left in my budget. And I'm uh, at another booth here now. Uh, working my way around. I haven't even gone around the outside ring yet. This is crazy. I'm just sort of picking and choosing my booths. There's no way I can see everything. So I thought I'd just take you guys a peruse through yet another booth. This guy's got a lot of new sealed vinyl, some newer things in these uh, bins. Some newer things. This is uh, it's coming out on Record Store Day. So the crowd is thinning out here now. It's around two o'clock, I believe. And uh, the crowd is thinning out. Uh, I've kind of dug everything I want to dig. I found a few things. There's a couple things that I was thinking about that I'm going to go back and pick up now. And then I'm going to head out. And uh, when I get home, uh, I will show you guys uh, what I picked up at Mississauga record and collectibles show on <laughs> wasn't too many collectibles but a lot of records so i'm back from the record show and uh i picked up 11 items here seven of them amazingly enough are 12 inch singles 
Uh, when I went to the show and went through all the booths, a lot of the booths had had the same old stuff that you can get pretty much anywhere. Uh, they certainly did have their rare pressings and things of famous albums. But my collection is at a point now where I'm kind of have everything I want as far as old pressings go. Uh, I love 12-inch uh, singles. So uh, they're something that you don't see here at the record stores very often. So I jumped on the 12-inch singles as well as some Japanese pressings, something else you never see at the stores here. Uh, pretty much everything I got here, other than maybe one album, you never see at the stores here ever, ever. Uh, so that's what I kind of went after. So let's uh, show you guys what I got. The first three things, and I only bought from three vendors there, just three vendors, uh, though I was tempted to buy a few things from some other vendors. In the end, I only bought things from three vendors. From the first vendor, I got these Trance 12-inch singles. Trance is very, very, very hard to find here in Canada. I have a, I, People know my channel know I'm a big fan of Trance, techno and Trance, from you know, the late 90s to the, to the late 2000s. And most of that stuff here in Canada, we, we were only able to get on CD, and most of it I had to buy as import CDs. Uh, so whenever I see trance 12-inch mixes or tra trance albums, I jump on them. And this booth had a bunch of them, and I picked up three things from them. Each one of them uh, was $5. And the first is I See Right Through You, DJ Encore, featuring Angelina. I love this song. I have the CD uh, of this album. But to get the 12-inch extended mixes, of course, uh, it is sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, I'm not sure where this pressing is from. I'll have to look it up. I have a feeling this is a Denmark pressing. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Denmark, Netherlands, somewhere there. I'll have to check it out on Discogs uh, uh, after I clean them up and catalog them. So DJ Encore, uh, I see right through you featuring Angelina. What a great track, and, and I'm excited to hear the extended remix. Next, probably my single favorite trance DJ of all time is DJ Saken. And I have DJ Saken's Walk on Fire on CD, the LP, and it is my single favorite trance album ever made by anybody. Number one trance album, DJ Saken and Friends, Walk on Fire. I absolutely adore that album. So when I saw the... Um, Protect Your Mind, which is from that album, the extended remixes, uh, the, the Lang and Suspicious remixes. Lang remixes are always really good. When I saw DJ Saken and Friends, Protect Your Mind, uh, I was absolutely blown away. And I believe this is a UK pressing of this on Positive Records, which were very, very big over in the UK for releasing Trance and Techno uh, uh, 12 Inches and... Uh, we never got any of these things here. So I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled to get Protect Your Mind. And these are the 12, and I know this 12-inch. I know the Lang remix. I don't know the Suspicious remix. But I'm thrilled to get this. My favorite trance artist of all time, DJ Saken and Friends. And uh, Protect Your Mind. And as you can see, we're inspired uh, by the music from the film Braveheart. Fantastic. I'm so looking forward to spinning that. And the third thing I got from that seller, also a trance... Uh, DJ Saken again. This is DJ Saken's Nightmare. That's right. DJ Saken Nightmare. 12-inch single with a couple different mixes on it. Thrilled to get them. And all three, each of these uh, trance uh, uh, 12 inches were $5 each. So bargain, bargain, bargain. I I'm not sure where Night Nightmare is after the Walk on Fire album, but it was DJ Saken. As soon as I saw DJ Saken, I said, I got to have this. So thrilled to have the DJ Saken 12-inch. Uh, the next uh, two albums came from uh, seller number two uh, of the places I went. And like I said, there were a few other sellers, but I, I was close to my budget. I was happy with what I got. So uh, I picked this up from seller number two. Nothing super special, but you never, ever see the Psychedelic Furs album in the stores here. You can get pretty much all the other Psychedelic Furs albums. Uh, this was a hole in my collection. I've been looking for a copy of this for a while. This is Talk, Talk, Talk psychedelic furs this is just a regular canadian press i, I picked this up for i think 10 i uh, 15 and he gave it to me for 10 dollars. really nice fellow and of course this spawned the classic pretty in pink uh, also mr jones was great dumb waiters great she is mine all of this or nothing this is a great album happy to grab that that was the only real kind of common t standard canadian press i got of something and it only cost me 10 bucks so a bargain to be had there 
Next up, uh, some, another 12 inch shingle now. And this is from that same first, that si same second buyer. I got three things from that buyer. And this is Strange Advance and We Run. This is the 12 inch mix extended single of Strange Advance, who I'm going to see on May 26th here in Toronto. And I'm thrilled to go see these guys. Strange Advances, We Run from Strange Advance 2. Uh, I love that album. And I, I used to have this 12 inch mix a long time ago. I'm sorry I ever traded in it or whatever. I absolutely love it. It's like a nine-minute mix. Uh, so it's ec ecstatic to find this. And he, this one I got for $5. He sell, sold me this one for $5. Strange Advances, We Run, the 12-inch extended single. Thrilled to have that again in my collection. You never see that anywhere. And the last thing I got from this that, that second uh, guy, and I actually went back for this one after doing the show. I bought those first two uh, earlier in the show, and then I went back later and picked this one up. Thrilled to have this. And, of course, I just did <laughs> just my last um, Artist in One Minute video. If you guys watch my shorts and I, I do a series of uh, artist collections in one minute, I just did a new order in one minute video. And now I have some more new order. <laughs> so if I guess if I'd have waited a, 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 three days to film that video, I would have had some more new order to add to that video. But, oh, well. Uh, so this is New Order and The Restless from the Music Complete album of 2015. I knew this, uh, I knew this maxi single had, uh, uh, existed. I'm thrilled to find a copy of it. It's got the extended mix, the Weatherall mix, and the Algora remix. Uh, thrilled to have this. This was originally $30, and uh, he gave it to me for $20, and that's a steal as far as I'm concerned, as it is a sealed, sealed copy. This has not been opened. It is a sealed copy. Uh, from two, the 2015, their last full studio album to date, uh, Music Complete. And this is Restless. Thrilled to get this. Absolutely thrilled to get this. Probably the most expensive record I bought all day, but it is sealed. Then, more New Order. That's right. And so that was our uh, seller number two. And the last five things I got here, I got from seller number three. Uh, I bought a couple things from him at the very beginning. He was the first guy I went to when I saw his display. He was the first guy I went to. And then I went back to, to see his booth in the end of the auction to get three more things. So he was a, he was definitely my favorite seller. A really nice guy. And I bought five things from him. The first is more new order. That's right. I ended up buying three new order things today. And this is round and round, the various remixes of round and round. This is a Canadian. You never see this 12-inch uh, mix around in the stores. So thrilled to have this. Like I said, if I had filmed my new order uh, video two, three days later, I would have had three more things to add to it. But it's okay. Round and round, which was originally on the New Order's Technique album. Uh, I love that album. Absolutely adore that album. So, so to get the round and round uh, remixes. And all the stuff this guy had, the five albums this guy had, are in near mint condition they are in fantastic condition so round and round 12 inch mixes and then run two also from the same uh new order album technique this is run two and the various 12 inch mixes from this and this guy knocked five dollars off of everything i bought from his booth every single record i bought from him he knocked five dollars off the listed price so i did very 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 well with him i think the first new order was uh ended up costing me 15 this uh as you can see is a uk press at 10 so i got this for five i got the other one for uh 15 and he lowered it to 10 really nice guy UK press of Run 2, the remixes of Run 2. And uh, last but not least from his, from his booth, I bought three Japanese pressings. There weren't too many people that had Japanese pressings. I love Japanese pressings. And all three of these are in, I would call, near mint condition. There's not a scratch that I could see on first glance on the covers. No ring wire. The covers are super clean. All of them have the original Japanese inner sheets with them. And all of them, the vinyl, I'm talking the, all of these near mint. So the first one, and this was, uh, he knocked, like I said, he knocked $5. This was 20 I got it for $15. That's right, $15. Uh, Japanese first breast of Deep Purple and Stormbringer. And these, like I said, have the original inners and everything. As you can see, 20, oh, this was 20 sorry, 25 He knocked this down to $20 because everything was $5 off. But a steal, a steal for Deep Purple Stormbringer. Original first Japanese press, $20. Fantastic. Uh, and next up, next up, Donna Summer. Original first Japanese press. This one 
was fifteen dollars. It was originally twenty, and he dropped it to fifteen. Um, thrilled to have this, and it's her "Love to Love You Baby" album. Uh, I, I like Donna Summer. You know, I'm a disco guy. I love disco, and Donna Summer is certainly the queen of disco. "Love to Love You Baby" was a big hit, and this is, of course, the album version. Uh, so all of side one is "Love to Love You Baby." It's a long, long, long song, and really happy to find a copy of this album. He had a regular copy of this album for only $5 less. When I saw the Japanese first press with the with the original inner, as you can see, $20. He knocked $5 off it on the Casablanca. And like I said, it has the original uh, Japanese inner in it. Uh, and these things are like in near mint condition. They are, they are gorgeous. So thrilled to have Donna Summers. Love to love you, baby. And last but not least, the last thing I picked up, and really thrilled to find this, everybody knows I love the Ventures. And I probably didn't. I'm not sure if this is alive or not. Uh, it could be. I have a feeling this might be live. I'm not sure. But it's called the Ventures Best 20. And when I looked at the track times, I immediately noticed that, uh, th that some of the songs clearly had a different track time. I know my Ventures material. Uh, I didn't have a chance to check this out, but I, I saw Ventures. I saw Japanese pressing. I said, you know, even if it's a comp, it might be alive. It might be a comp. I'm not sure yet because I know that Hawaii Five O, which is one of the ones that's listed on here, had a very short track time according to the liner notes. Uh, but thrilled to have this Japanese. I'm a big Ventures collector. So thrilled to have this, the Ventures Best of 20 Japanese, original first Japanese pressing from 1977. And it's a white label Japanese pressing. White label. So it could very well be a promo. I haven't had time to check it out yet. Um, but it was $15. He knocked it down to $10. A bargain. And it is near, near mint. So there you go. That's what I picked up at the Mississauga Record Show 2023 edition. Hope you enjoyed my video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And like I always say... Rock and roll!